Next, we'll take a look at the Trends tool within the Pin Inspector software. So to get access to that, just click on the Trends tab located on the top here, and we'll get access to the Trends tool. Now, I do want to explain sort of like the difference between the Keywords tool and the Trends tool. The Keyword tool grabs data from the, key, uh, the uh, Pinterest Auto Suggest engine. So as I explained in the other video, let me just show you here. When you're on Pinterest and you go into the search bar at the top and you start typing in keywords, you'll see you get all of these auto-suggest keywords. These are the Pinterest auto-suggest. Pinterest is auto-suggesting possible keywords that come next. That's where those keywords come from inside the keyword generator. Now, inside of the trends tool, they're coming from the trends section. So trends.pinterest.com, you'll see that they have an entire section on their website, which gives you trending data for um, the top trending searches within their network. So you can see there's lots of data here. This is a pretty popular section. So I've integrated a tool that will come and use this data inside the software a little bit different. This is great using your web browser, but in the software, it's just better. So I wanna show you what I mean. It's really exciting. So um, I just wanna show you here on the website. So I mean, if you click um, one of the trending topics to give you these uh, the search engine volume index, this is quite similar to how Google does Google Trends. So this is like Pinterest Trends. So they don't actually give you the exact number of search volume. They give you an index of zero to 100. So they say here what it means. Each data point compares the search volume of a term to all other searches during that same week. And then they give you an index between zero to 100. So basically when it says 100 during that week, we're getting a lot of searches for that particular keyword. but and anyways, at least it gives you an indication of how popular that particular keyword is. So that's important. So inside of the Trends tool, I've integrated some pretty awesome stuff to analyze this data. And this is exciting. I love this, this tool. So let me just go through. So obviously the first thing you can do is just stick in a keyword and click Generate. And it will go out and get um, related keywords. Now, what I've done here, I've added the same type of engine that I did in the keywords tool here, where you have the search range. So you'll know that in the keyword tool here, I have the search range where it can add um, a, a, the seed keyword, or, uh, sorry, I'm getting a little tongue tied here, add a letter of the alphabet after the seed keyword and it gets the data. So let me show you what that means. So I don't get you all confused here. Where's my browser? There it is. So as you type here, letter A and B, and C, you'll see you get all these different keywords. Well, I do the same thing in here. So if you put the letter dog, you'll see they give you some just suggestions. But if you type the letter dog A, you'll get more suggestions along with the data. So check this out. You just type in dog, click generate. Now I do want to mention before it continues, it's going to ask, the software is going to ask me to log into my Pinterest account. Now after um, like thousands of hours programming this, maybe not thousands of hours, but I would say hundreds of hours programming the software. The best possible scenario is when you're logged into your account. So let me show you what I mean. So when you click generate, it's gonna open up a special window. This is my data extraction browser window. And so in here, this is where the data is gonna be extracted. And it's the, the best thing you can do is just log into your Pinterest account and it'll just extract. Just, it's kind of like, a browser. So imagine just being in a browser and you're just browsing around the um, trends section that's kind of behind here and the software is collecting the data. So it's kind of like a browser. So we could think of like Pin Inspector as a fancy glorified web browser. Anyhow, so what you want to do is log into your account. Now I made it really simple so you don't have to keep typing it in. Unfortunately, every time you use a software, you have to log into your account to use the trends tool. The other tools don't allow that just the trends tool. So I made a convenient little thing. If you open up your settings, you can save your username and password in the software. Your password is completely encrypted. So there's nowhere on the computer that your, your, your password's actually viewable in normal text. It's all encrypted. So you don't have to worry about anyone finding it or something like that. So you just save it in here, click apply. And once it's saved in your settings, then all you do is just click, I wanna get my copy my saved username, click that, go here, right click and paste, click my password, right click 
and paste and log in. And after it logs in, it'll automatically just close the window and start extracting. So now it's going, it's getting dog A. Now, please keep in mind that this tool is a little slower. It does take a while to go out and grab all that data, process it, add the charts right directly to the grid. So I'm telling you right now, it is well worth the wait. So you just gotta be patient. So I'm gonna pause the video and let this go through here. Now I do wanna mention, um, I didn't add the other search ranges where it adds the keyword before or double keywords because it just doesn't bring up any data for that particular tool. The only, only one that really brings up data is putting the keyword after. And still, it doesn't bring back a lot compared to the other one. So you'll see we've only got 108 as opposed to the keyword generator. You can generate like up to four or 500 keywords where this one doesn't have that data. So there we go. So what I like to do after every time I say I, I get that, it's a good idea just to save this data real quick. So I'm just gonna save it. Now let's take a look at what we got here. So we've got the keyword, the seed, the country that we selected. Now, I do wanna mention, um, if there's only three countries available. So remember, this is kinda of like a glorified web browser. I can't magically make countries appear here. It's only what Pinterest provides. So if you go back to Pinterest, you'll see in their trends tool, they only currently supply US, UK, and Canada. So in fact, if you're actually in another country that you're not in US, UK, or Canada, you may not even see this page. He might not even let you look at this page, but through my software, you should still be able to get the data. So anyhow, we've got the data here, and now we got some of this, some of these other columns. Let me explain what this means. So that data that we're looking at, this data here, this is over the period of an entire year provided in weeks, each week. So there's 52 data points, so 52 weeks in a year. And so what I've done here is I've taken that data and I summarized it in some columns to make it really easy to pinpoint top trending stuff that you need. So for these particular keywords, these trending searches, let's go ahead and what I wanna look at first is the one month average. So remember that each of these data points that represent, so if we actually just double click this, check this out, it will actually bring up a built-in chart which will show you the data points um, more accurately here and each week down here. You can also click the bar chart if you would like to see it in a bar chart format. And so now you can see the corresponding date. This is the week that that corresponds to and then the search volume index for that particular week is 89. So that's what that represents. But what I'd like to see is in the last month, in the last month, if I just sort by this column, so in this last month, the average search volume index was 93 in the last month. So the last three months, 91. You could see the chart giving me here a little peak, last six months. Now, let's look at some other ones here. Other ones I've added, if I just get them into view here. I've done the six month, now the total. So if you sort by total, this is the total average across the board, so basically, which one is sort of consistently really high for the entire year. So that gives you sort of like the steady niches. So which one has kind of been steady throughout the whole year. Now here's the trending slope. Now the slope is a little different. You see negatives and positives. So if I go here, positive slope, this is just basically the slope of a line. So whether or not the actual trend is sloping up. So if I double click that, you can see this, if you did a trend line, it, it generally is, looks like it's sloping upwards through the entire year. So that says over the past year, it's generally sloping all the way up and they're sorted in that direction. So if you go all the way down to the bottom, you'll see the ones that are sorting down. Like this. I guess I can just sort over here to negative. And you could see, it's not a really good example, but this one is basically sort of sloping down. Now, another one I've done is a trending spike. This is interesting. Trending spike means, is there something happening like right now in the last couple of weeks? As you can see here in this one, there is a spike occurring right, right now. So boom, that's a really, really good one. This one is probably one of the most important ones. You wanna be looking at trending spikes that are happening within the last couple of weeks. 
So you can see them spiking up here. Even like this one may have a downhill trend, but right now it's coming back up. So that's what those columns mean. So I do wanna talk about some other features. Let's go ahead and just clear this out here. Cause that's just the start of the fun tools integrated in here. Now here's another one. I've integrated latest trends. Now take a look at this. If we go back to Pinterest uh, trends here, let's just, as we go back here, you'll notice it gives you this week's top trends here and it pulls out a bunch of stuff. I've been able to grab all this data with a single click of a button. Click that and it'll go out and grab those latest trends for you. Obviously they'll be updating these on looks like a weekly basis or maybe a monthly basis. And now we can just grab all of those trends for the corresponding country. And what's cool is if you go over to the trending spike and sort here and you can really see those spikes. Like look at that one just spiking up right now. There was just nothing and then boom. So that one's Haas, which I'm not sure what that even means. If you don't know what something means, you can right click and you can go ahead and search Google to take a look. Whoop, we gotta select that. Just double click the row, right click, search Google. And we take a look what that sort of means. So looks like an alcoholic brand of some sort. Anyhow, but you can get some ideas of Memorial Day, Memorial Day nails, end of year teacher gifts, just awesome, awesome data that you can generate with a single click of a button without even searching anything. And again, you can obviously go in and just take a look at the trends. Now, what's awesome about this particular window, you can make it bigger so you can really see in there, but this is really cool. You can view these trends, if you just click this button, you can view the trends directly on Pinterest if you'd like to use their graph. They do offer these little related um, trends here that you can kind of put on the same graph. Now don't worry, I have a relateds tool as well. I'll get to that in a second. And I also made an option here where you can actually save this. So if you want to save this chart or the data for this chart, check this out. A little save button here. You can save it as a PNG image, JPEG, save the data to a text or a common delimited file. So let's save it to a PNG. So boom, just like that. Now we have that image and you can use that. Whoops, I didn't mean to make it full screen. <laughs> now you can use that in a report or whatever if you're providing data for clients, it's a handy little thing. Or if you want to provide the actual data, let's save it to a common delimited file. And you can see all the data is provided inside a, a spreadsheet. Just another cool feature we've added within that tool. All right, there's more to show, to show in this tool. I know this video is gonna be a little longer than the other ones, but it's exciting. Let's keep going.